Hey, this is Eric Slick from Dr. Dog, and this is Behind the Beat. Currently we're supporting our live record live at the Flamingo Hotel and we're doing a three night stint in Chicago that's all sold out. The first night is at Talia Hall, uh, second night is right here at the House of Blues and then tomorrow night will be at Lincoln Hall. Uh, right here we have a 5 by 14 Ludwig Brass Rocker. I found it at a guitar shop in Pittsburgh and it just kind of struck me as a very bizarre looking drum. Um, it reminded me of that Acrolyte that I have. I have a 1971 Acrolyte that I've used for the past four years, but I wanted something that was maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit more metallic. So I, I found this thing uh, and just immediately it spoke to me. Uh, so I love this drum a lot and it's kind of become the centerpiece of the kit. Uh, and right here, I just have an 8x12 Classic Maple from 2014. It used to be, uh, be Blue Sparkle, but I had, um, I had my friend Dimitri, who's also in Dr. Dog, he's a percussionist. We went at it with some neon paint pens so that uh, it reflects the black light that we have on stage. So it kind of glows in and out, and it's really, really cool effect. Um, I had Blue and Olive badges put on these drums, and I also had uh, some Atlas mounts put on them as well that uh, are just really, really excellent and super durable. Um, over here I have a 14 by 16 floor tom, which is a little bit unusual. Usually I go for a 16 by 16, but I wanted the drum to speak a little bit quicker. Sometimes with 16 by 16s, uh, you get a woofy overtone, and I just found with this one, it really speaks quickly, gets out, gets in and out, and uh, it sounds awesome. It has a lot of low end, but it's very quick and uh, I, re I really, really enjoy it. Kick drum is just a 14 by 20 that we uh, painted in the exact same color as the rest of the drums, or rather colors. Uh, it sounds great. So I'm using a combination of Atlas Classic and Atlas Standard uh, Ludwig's uh, hardware stands. Uh, I really like the classic stands because to, to my ears uh, it brings out more tone of the cymbal. I also love the flat basses on the stands because I feel like uh, normally when I was playing with my left hi-hat foot, uh, you know, the, the, the stand itself would kind of get in the way and also felt like it was too overcomplicated uh, most of the time. So with this stand, it's really light um, and you know, I can pick it up with one hand and it's, it's not cumbersome and it responds really well to my foot and it just feels natural to me, so I really like playing that. And then over here with the ride symbol, because I bash on the ride pretty hard, I needed something that was a little bit more uh, standard and heavy duty, so I went with this stand for this ride symbol. And I also have a classic over here for this other kind of crash ride that I'm using. Um, this one I hit a little bit less hard, so I thought that it would be okay to use a lighter symbol. And then I'm using uh, an Atlas Classic uh, bass drum pedal as well, because it just it feels like a Speed King, but it's it's like a new and improved Speed King to me. Uh, I love the Speed King pedal, but I feel like this is a, a major improvement on that design. And uh, it folds up quickly, and it's, it's a really great pedal. And uh, yeah, this is, the, this is the main configuration of the kit I'm using right now.